Dylan! You son of a bitch. That intro is really going to set the tone for this video. Because I feel as though we have reached a point. We, we have reached a point where I'll take anything over Ezra Miller. I'd take a low skill Chihuahua as the Flash, as far as I'm concerned, over Ezra Miller continuing to be in DC. Dude's out of control. Uh, I don't even know when this started. Somebody asked me a question and I'm just basically responding to that. But over the weekend, I would assume, uh, there was a push. I don't even know if it was really a push because a lot of the times when you go on Twitter, certain things get taken and completely blown out of proportion where the actor or the actress never said anything in regards to wanting to be a character, but three people on the internet get it to start trending and it just completely snowballs from there. For whatever reason, Elliot Page's name popped up as a potential replacement for The Flash. And to be quite honest, no, <laughs> this is a, no, like yeah, it's not a horrible choice. We're currently seeing the worst choice in action, but no, like that. No, doesn't the characters that Elliot Page has played, none of them fit into the wheelhouse of a Barry Allen type character. Um, now. You could look at Vanya and Umbrella Academy and say that she's played broken characters before, but for the most part, Barry Allen is typically the jokey, um, bright light of the Justice League. Uh, he's he's a little bit more serious, I would say, than Wally West. Wally West tends to lean more into the jokester side of things, but for the most part, I don't know. I don't see it at all in regards to this fan cast. However, I'm willing to make a compromise. And my compromise is extremely simple. Across the board, 100%. And I think a lot of people will like my compromise because my compromise is dope as fuck. So, if WB was to cast Elliot Page as Barry Allen, The Flash, I request that in making that happen, Anthony Starr becomes Reverse Flash. That's right. Homelander himself. Because you cannot tell me. You cannot tell me that Anthony Starr would not make the perfect Reverse Flash. I'm willing to watch a Flash movie with Elliot Page as Barry Allen if Anthony Starr was the Reverse Flash. Because I know the I know who I'm there for. I'm there for Eobard Thawn. I'm there for the King of Petty himself. That, that, that's the only way in which I, I feel as though I could justify Elliot Page playing Reverse Flash. Is if the compromise was Elliot Page plays Barry Allen, but the fans get Anthony Starr as Reverse Flash Eobarthon. That's the only way. That is the only way. But I did have like this weird thought that I think um, Steve from Stranger Things, it's like Joel, Joel Keegan, Regan? Don't remember his name, actually. Uh, his name is Joe Keery. Wow, where the hell did I get Keegan from? Um, I do think that Joe Keery would probably make a really good Wally West. You dye his hair red, he has the acting chops for it. Uh, he has really good comedic timing. He do he. He'd, he'd, he'd be a pretty good Wally West, but in regards to Elliot Page playing Barry Allen, absolutely not. Unless they were like, yes, Elliot Page gets to play Barry Allen, but Anthony Starr gets to play Reverse Flash. And we the fans get to choose the storyline that this is going to follow. Um, I do not remember the Flash comic, but I know the story off the top of my head. It's basically post reverse flash putting his fingers through Iris's head and giving her an uh, uh, an aneurysm, and the Flash grabs him and throws him into Speed Force prison, and he comes back. And during their fight, he does the whole "I'll never stop unless you kill me" thing, and the Flash is like, "Well, crick," and he kills him. 
and Barry looks down at his hands and he gets scared and he turns and he just books it into the future. That would be a really great movie for Anthony Starr's reverse flash to make his debut because you can make like this great three part arc where the very first movie is the villain where you come to despise his version of reverse flash because of the heinous shit that he did in the first movie. The second movie is Barry essentially meeting him, but it's the him before powers, before the negative speed force, where he's just a Flash fan. And Barry doesn't know his true identity yet. And they basically go through the entire movies as uh, a dynamic duo, where it's basically Flash and then another Flash that he's low key mentoring. Then towards the end, Barry discovers the truth. And that's where like they have a break where Barry runs back into the past and reverse flash follows. And when he gets to the past, that's when he discovers that he's like the Flash's uh, great, basically his greatest nemesis. And then the third movie is basically watching him completely spiral out of control and try everything within his power to kill the Flash, which leads to the death of uh, Barry Allen's mother, Nora Allen and the beginning of either the new 52 timeline or a new timeline completely in general. I've got multiple Flash movies planned out inside my head, man. <laughs> but yeah, that's a no for uh, Elliot Page, unless you're giving me Anthony Starr as the reverse Flash. All I want to say, peace.